goodness back we're back so and it's good. been a week Woo-hoo. for you guys but not for us it's been like almost two weeks for us so but we're staying on schedule because we're fucking getting better at this yeah because yeah. last year at this yep. time when, before i say that we took episode 63 welcome. welcome back but before i uh what i meant to say is last year at this time we took like a month and a half hiatus <laughs> yeah, we just disappeared out of fucking nowhere because it's the holidays. But and I think we it. introduced us back saying, it's been a minute, but now we're back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it was nothing. Like it was just, all right, and we're back. Like it was like a two-week break or yep. something. Right. <laughs> no, it was literally like a month and a half. But this this year, we're doing a lot better. We're actually planning out future episodes. Crazy. I know it's a foreign fucking topic for us, but maybe not for other people. But we're doing pretty good. So yeah, Dilly yeah, yeah, went yeah, on yeah. a trip. That's why we pre-recorded the last one. Mail's going on a trip next week or this weekend. So we're pre-recording the next one, and then the next one after that, we're pre-recording because I'm going on Christmas vacation. So here we are. Yeah, but yep. one thing at a time. Here we're we are. all taking Christmas trips at different times. <laughs> I know we really crushed the planning on that one, but yeah. we don't really have much oh, choice. Yeah. So yeah, who cares? We're getting but it done. The, uh, You're yeah. going uh, Nebraska? Or? No, I'm going to Colorado. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm going to Colorado. We're just different weekends. Oh, yeah. I've been so <laughs> sick. If you guys sick. could meet up, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bring in. Lady. No, that'll be sick. Yeah. So, where are you planning to Same go? With me. Airbnb there. and Parker. Oh, okay, okay. Chill. Show her the show her the old show her your old house, maybe. Show her the, the hometown. Old, yep. 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 I wanted to do that. So we're staying in the mountains, so it's like. No. Uh, okay. Well, might be yeah. harder. I mean, you gotta twist my arm to yeah. stay in the mountains, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. yeah um. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be sick. Yeah, but I have a funny fucking thing, just because. Okay. When I went to California the first time, right. and Lady's parents picked me up from. LAX and right. her, obviously. Right. Uh, we had to go through LA, and I was just like, holy shit, LA. this place is shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. Isn't that funny? This is fucking dog water. Right. <laughs> you know, LAX is so, like, it's just like well known, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And they're GTA. in the oh, middle yeah. of rebuilding it to get ready for the Olympics and whatnot because oh, yeah. the Olympics uh, are coming to LA and all that shit. And so I was like, wow, this is shit. There's homeless and everything, and this is kind of oh, yeah. gross and disgusting. That's normal. Yeah. So. Just to show her the absolute worst Denver has to offer. Right. Just like how they showed me the worst <laughs> LA has to <laughs> no offer. Shit. DIA. We're taking the light rail from DIA oh. to the Lincoln Station. No, she's going to hate that. <laughs> she's going to hate. And then Uber from the Lincoln Station to our Airbnb. But that's so smart, though. It's it so is smart. Cost it is smart cost and wise. faster. Yeah. And faster. So much faster. Traffic. So, yeah. That's oh, actually, Denver, I forgot. Do not miss. Jesus. How how much is that? The light rail ticket is like ten dollars. Uh, something for too. uh any, because like there's all the different lines, like the F line, D line, B line, uh. and all that shit. So like any line, one day ticket, I think is like last time I bought one, I think it was like twelve dollars. Yeah, that's cheap. Say, I remember that always yeah. been cheap. Yeah, yeah. twelve dollars yeah. to use the light rail anywhere for the whole day. That's amazing. Like that's great. That's really good. Yeah, you take that to Nuggets games, Avs games, Broncos all games. over the place. Right. That's pretty cool, actually. It goes really far. Like, people actually, you know, yeah, I, mean, I guess It goes all the way out to DIA. That shit's fucking... Yeah. DIA is Across literally the in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. yeah it's absolutely like ridiculous. <laughs> I'd love for us to dive into that fucking... We should, like, research DIA. the whole conspiracies oh, on that. Oh, yeah. Because the Lucifer fact that... Lucifer died. Or killed, killed the somebody. Crea- yeah, killed the creator. Head. Right. Killed the yeah. creator. Right. The sculptor. Yeah. yeah. And so, and he, yeah, he's got the devil eyes and everything. Yeah. And then the runways look like... The Schwarzenegger. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then, well, the fact that they fucking, w- I want to dive into it, like, on a special yeah, episode, yeah. But, oh, yeah. but precursor to that, they, they literally the fucking built this with, like, $4 billion when we already had an airport. Yeah, we already had an airport. And really? also, when they yeah. were building it, they dug, like, a 65-foot or, like, 40-foot, some deep fucking-ass giant fucking hole. Like, you could right. put an airport hangar in the ground and then put dirt on top of it, and no one would even know you put an airport hangar underneath the ground. Right. yeah. And everyone saw that when they were constructing it. They were when like you would drive past on a highway the or something. Hole underground. Yeah, and see like that giant hole and be like, oh wow, the DIA must like go in and then like you go up and out to go to the runways or something like that. Right. And then no. And then they were like, so what happened to the big old hole? Like, what did you use the big old hole for? And, like, and they were hole? like, oh, we filled it in. It was a design feature that we decided to get rid of. And it's like, what? No, you didn't. No, dig you a- didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, we gotta dive into that. And and the oh, fact man. that it's. They've um, got fucking Nazis painted on the walls. They did. They did took they? them down. They s- they, oh, they took it down finally? They took them down, yeah. Oh, finally. They took them down like five or just five years ago or something like that. Yeah. But they had them on their walls? Well, well yeah. it was like a global. There was like this, this fucking, I don't, like, 
It was like World a mur- War it was like mural. a mural to yeah. like signify and like, like and shit yeah it was like to families. signify like world oh connections God. against evil and like the evil was like a nazi in a gas mask with an ak or some shit like oh that oh my god and yeah but then it was it's like an airport, all peaceful. Not freaking yeah it was all the pe- but then it was like all yeah. the connections and peaceful and like togetherness around it going against it and no one paid attention to that no, they you just, just paid <laughs> attention to the fucking nazi in a gas mask <laughs> right like going especially with the fucking yeah. arty conspiracy with yeah. Oh, oh yeah. With the Schwarzenegger fuck? fucking. Everyone's like, tw- no. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Yeah, but now they're like leaning into it because they put they do. A, they put a gargoyle there. That <laughs> that and when you go there, you'll see they have like signs because it's always under construction. Yeah, and the constructions always. are like alien meeting center. Oh yeah. Is it like best airport in the world or Illuminati? Well, let's yeah. talk about in Colorado in general. The high the highways are always under construction too. Or is that just me? I twenty five has been under construction for forty five fucking years or something <laughs> years. like that. And they won't ever finish it. They, I've, you're always in, you know, like a mm-hmm. one way it cuts, cl- you know, one lane. I mean, and then there's just yeah. like, speed limits 55. Everyone says whatever. Everyone's gonna go 80. But there are some <laughs> because it's been like that for so fucking long. Yeah. There are some cool little nifty historical things on the mm-hmm. side of the road because of it. Oh really? Yeah, like yeah. back in the 80. I almost positive it's I-25. It's either I-25 or I. S- I say I-20. Oh. I. Uh, it's probably I-25. I think it's I-25. Yeah. And. Yes. On the side of the road, right next to a overpass, there's this little tiny cross with a wreath around it, and it's all white and everything else like that. And it's not someone that died in a car crash. It's for a dog. Really? Yeah, because there used to be a toll booth there, and the lady that worked the toll booth in the 80s or whatever, when you still like gave 10 cents to get through or something, and then they fucking... Oh, yeah. And all that, she would bring her dog to work at the toll booth every day. So literally all these people that were commuting every single day saw this dog dog and everything else. So when the dog died, they just buried it next to I-25 and put a cross next to it. Wow. I never knew that. Uh, Yeah, I would assume someone got a car accident or something. No, yeah, I think it's... I'm almost positive it's I-25. Yeah. I want to say it's I-25. Yeah, because I don't know. It's Yeah, I feel like it's a more common one for construction. Yeah, but it, it... I mean, the internet. Shit is always. Yeah, but it's fucking cool. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Yeah. it's like from the 80s. Wow. More, you know. More with this dude's fucking state facts, bro. With this fucking state facts. Big dome ski. You got the dome of Colorado in the fucking between Uh, the years. Got you. All right. So, I'm going to get a picture real quick before I forget. Good. Solid. Oh, hold on. I got to zoom in because you're far. Good. Solid one. (laughs) I can't get one of me. Perfect. Sorry, it's for the thumbnail for everybody thumbnail. listening and watching. Quick thumbnail. It's a needed thing. It's a needed thing. Okay, I got a couple because I think the first one was a little blurry, but maybe not. Maybe. The second one's good, though. Either. Okay. All right. Cool. So, that's a good segue into my drink. Apologies if we've done this on the pod before. I have a feeling Mail have my, I got this last Christmas. I think he did. Last Christmas. I think he did, too. He but fuck it. It sounded yeah. good, and it's Christmas, so I'm fucking doing it. Yep. It's, uh, it's just fucking. It's, it's rum and eggnog. <laughs> I, kn- uh, oh. I know I did. I think of uh, knowing me. I think it was actually probably Fireball and eggnog. Okay. No, no, I don't know. If no, I know. think it was just regular. I think it was either like whiskey or something. I remember it was eggnog. You it was eggnog, eggnog, eggnog and Definitely something. Eggnog. Yeah, but I fucking eggnog and Fireball is fire. So that shit like tastes like a fucking Christmas candy. It does actually with the cinnamon and all that. Dilly got fireball. his drink ahead of time. He's pumped. I did. I'm pretty pumped. I mean, I yeah. I'm pretty another wine. Yeah. It's actually know. not. It's actually not. Yep. He was tripping about the price, but is it absinthe? No, that <laughs> stuff's like death, isn't it? Nah. Oh no, I thought nah. stuff's like fuel. Just as much as like bathtub gin. Yummy. Yummy. Oh uh, yeah. I'll have just a hint, but I'm not gonna mm, have a lot. You always say that. I just want that's it. No, 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 no. No, I, I just don't, dr- no, I don't drink. No, 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 no. Not a big no, drink no. guy. Liars. Well, you topped them all. You off. went That's and not what I wanted. partied it up in North Carolina with your family and got drunk on the I beach or something. I did. I drank yeah. a little bit. Tell us about that. You got fucked up at a bar. I heard. Oh my god. Did you What's go to the you? Smoky Mountains and get some moonshine? Huh? I did not go to Smoky Mountains, of course. But at the oh my god, there's some good uh, good parts. The vacation was awesome. Um, went out to North Carolina, you know, uh, on the coast, real nice. But the the trip back was awful. You just flung that everywhere. Fuck yeah. So the trip back, um, 
Very interesting. Um, we I went to the airport at 11 a.m. It was about 11 a.m. Yeah. Um, my flight was supposed to leave at 12:50. I got there through security, small local airport. I was like, cool, uh-huh. awesome. It got delayed, and it kept getting delayed, delayed more and more and more and more. And then it said, your flight has been delayed to 9:30 p.m. tonight. Right. So I was there all day at that airport, and then I got on the plane. Right. This is once in a lifetime, maybe, maybe twice in a lifetime opportunity. Bad opportunity that happened to me. Um, I'm going to get a stork stick, BRB. Okay. Oh, yep. A little stirring stick. Oh, yeah, he's waiting for it. All right, guys. You know what time it is. Our most popular video, one of our most popular videos, was the classic stir stick. Finger looking good. That is the Will classic. this be number two of finger looking good? It's simple, innovative, effective. When your tip of it's, the finger goes a little bit numb, you know it's good. Yeah. You got a temperature check. Little watch thick. this, watch this. A little thick. He's got it. Oh, my gosh. Scrum doodle yumptious. There it is. <laughs> that's it right there. I thought you were going to say the same quote, <laughs> but that's even better. Oh, uh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. But that's okay. That's your yeah, thing. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely, definitely uh, finger linking good in part two for sure. Yeah. All right. What are we thinking? Oh, it's a classic. It's a holiday classic. It's good. Holiday classic. It's good. It's really yeah. strong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. No, it's not, little not buddy. Uh, yeah, little buddy. Oh, it's not bad. Good. It's <laughs> it's strong. Oh Jesus Christ. What happened? Lady is like researching stuff about Colorado for. The oh trip no. and all that. <laughs> She's getting a little edu- educated. Well, her grandparents just bought her and sent her a Nespresso for her Christmas gift. No, like one machine? espresso? Or no, machine? the Nespresso machine. Like that. Oh, oh the nice one. Like the super fancy, extravagant yeah. version of a Keurig. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one that's like $300 or some shit like that. Yeah, makes it it comes with shot. the milk just... frother and all this and that. Jeez. And she just texted me. She goes, there's an espresso store in uh, Park Meadows. <laughs> so I guess I know where I'm going to uh, go. Oh, Nespresso. <laughs> write that down, write that down, write, write that down, write that down. Park Meadows has got some good stores, actually. Dude, some Park good, Meadows uh, has a lot of It's a things. good mall. Yeah. It's definitely a good mall. Dude, eggnog slaps. Not well, oh, what do we think? It's good. Wish I could taste the eggnog, but it's fucking fuel. So. <laughs> what do you mean? It's pretty good. What do you mean it's fuel? It's really good, actually. I'm just not a big rum guy. What do you mean? Just never liked it. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, I need to respond to this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm but sorry. It's good for what it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, good. No, you're good. I'm fucking. So I'll tell you about this. Uh, resuming the Keep airport going. story. Yeah, sorry. You never should have stopped, but it's fine. so airport. Right. Uh, go to the airport. Everybody that's listening. 11 a.m. Get to the airport. It keeps getting my flight gets delayed more and more. I keep getting texts on my phone. Do 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 do. And then. We all We're as starting with the end of the trip in the story. Yeah, and we'll okay. start with the. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yes, that is <laughs> That's not good, guys. Um, start with the. Uh, uh, and so <laughs> I start with the end. Airport all day got delayed, and then we all get this text as a group, everybody at the gate, all at once. Right. It says the flight's been delayed till nine thirty, and everyone goes, "Oh, I'll, you know." And so I'm like, "Great, I'm sitting here all day," and. And my sister and her boyfriend uh, were there later in the day. Their flight was their flight was supposed to leave at four. It got delayed later in the night too. And so, after basically, did you leave the airport and come back? No. Why not? Because my parents lived. Here we go. An hour and a half away. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into it. But they went. They did you fly out of the Wilmington or the Greenville or uh, the Raleigh? Uh, Wilmington. So you went out of Wilmington? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So There's not a lot around Wilmington. No. Well, not around the Wilmington Airport. There is USS North Carolina, though. There right is the, the USS New- North Carolina. Hell there yeah, baby. There is University America. of North Carolina, Wilmington. And see Wilmington. So there are things in Wilmington, just not by just the airport. Just only that. Yep. Not by the airport. So and it's not easy to get everywhere else because it's like a $40 Uber to get anywhere else. Yep. If they're far. If everything out there is far. I know you talked about that. It's far. 20 oh, minutes, yeah. 25 right. minutes, that's everywhere. So... um. We all get on the plane, it's 9.30 at night, right? And we're like, oh, thank God, you know, oh, get on the plane. After a nine-hour delay. Nine-hour delay. We all sit back. 
I get several rows to myself because there were probably 20 people on this plane because everyone else that was smart left and rescheduled. So why didn't you do that? <laughs> I don't want to get into asked. it. I don't want to get into it too much. Well, let's just say it. my parents lived an hour and a half away. They didn't want to come back. They said, fuck them kids. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, <laughs> exactly what Exactly what happened. <laughs> Love my parents, but they said, <laughs> they said you'll be all right. And so They're I like, left you. We left you in Colorado. So you came back. That's not our fault. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the gold part about this, it just gets better and better. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm already like, you know, it takes a lot for me to be impatient. And I'm really patient. And at, at the end of that day, I was still patient. Get on the plane and then... Lights are off. They're about to taxi. You know, they disconnect the fucking tunnel to the plane, you know. And then the pilot goes, well, unfortunately, folks, you got some bad news for you. You are not going to be flying out tonight. I was like, I just sat there in disbelief. <laughs> I was like, we're on the airplane. And then he goes, we're having navigation issues, so it was nighttime. And he's like, in the daytime, maybe I could get away with it, but not at night. That's what he said. And he was just very real with everyone. Everyone's silent. Everyone was so... Dude, that is so tough. The people that were on that plane waited all day at the airport, of course, same thing, because they couldn't leave for whatever reason or didn't. And so then after I was already in a line, I was earlier in a massive line rescheduling or changing my flight to my sister's flight because my flight was at 9.30. Hers was supposed to leave at 8, which ended up leaving at like 9.30. We boarded the plane. So anyways, I was already in a line at this kiosk. So then... When he says, we're not going to be flying out tonight, he said, well, you can go back up to the kiosk and uh, we can get you a hotel voucher and some food and stuff. And I'm like, I've got to wait in that line <laughs> all over again. I'm like, you know what? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm patient. So I leave the plane. We're in a line. A couple hours. Two in the morning now. I've been there over t- <laughs> 12 hours. <laughs> losing it. And so then the airport's closed. Everyone's gone. Everyone went home. There was just one little light at our gate. Everyone's so. Then we get a cab, right? They said, "Ooh, voucher cab." Blah, after waiting, and so we call the cab, and they say, "You know, oh yeah, it'll be about an hour out." Yep. We've been waiting, and we said no, <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so my sister's boyfriend just orders an Uber. He just bought an Uber. Uber was like three minutes away. So. And, but he didn't call. That's the best part. He didn't call the taxi. That was an hour away on its way there. So this guy calls. He goes, hey, man, I'm here. And he, we go, oh, and he goes, sorry, man. I actually got another ride. And this guy was like, oh. no. He, yeah. <laughs> he took a, he, he no. took a, he took a he, breath. He this, made the, your Uber come back. Oh, <laughs> dude, this guy was so pissed. I don't blame him, but I was right. like, you know what? I don't care about anyone's feelings at this point because I was just so done. I was right. like, I was <laughs> That's like, so tough. And so, and that happened. We get, you know, to this hotel. My, I'm, you know how you said a while back, you're saying after you were in the military, you don't like waiting. You're very like, well, it's for weird. stupid stuff. Yeah, it's weird. Like I can sit and I can sit somewhere in a line for 14 hours and not bat an eye. Yeah. But then like, if I have to wait an extra six seconds for someone to go through an intersection, I'll kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, because it's, you, it's, I can relate and this I've never in my life been waiting so much to where I'm actually, I'm really, truly impatient. I, when we got to that hotel, it was at least a half hour for this guy to check us in. And I was like, I'm going to freaking lose my, if i got to wait anymore. Yeah. So I got this little quesadilla, you know, they had a quesadilla in a little Tell fridge. Tell about the Uber driver or whatever. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Uber driver. this is when you got there, right? I think this yeah. might be a Wilmington Airport thing. I'm going to let you continue your story, but just side tangent. I've had to wait there for a long-ass time, too. Yeah, at that same exact airport. Really? Yeah, I was flying uh, home to Denver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much Denver, and I was gonna get picked up and go to Nebraska and all that shit. Um, but I show up and I didn't know like it was must have been like United or American or something like that. I can't remember which right. airline it was, but whichever airline I was doing, they were like, "You need to show up 45 minutes early, um, to prior to flight or yeah. pri- prior to boarding, and this and that." I didn't notice that part. I just noticed when the flight departed because everyone does that. They just look at right. flight departing. Right. Oh, yeah. And it's like, yep. so long as I get there, like, before gates close, I am good. Good. Yep. And this and that. I can try to make this happen. Right. The plane hasn't even gotten to the airport yet. I yeah. think it's just, and it's got to be that airport. Yeah. Yeah. The plane well, wasn't even 
at the airport. Right. It was still coming back with people to drop off. And it was 32 minutes prior to boarding. Yep. Prior to boarding, 32 minutes prior to boarding, I go to that kiosk and they're like, yeah, you showed up late. Sorry, we can't let you on that flight. And I was like, the plane's not even here yet. And they're like, sorry, we can't. It's policy. And I was like, You're so like, when's the next flight? And they're, they're like, well, we'll change it for free for you. So I was like, oh, yeah, you will. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, next one's in seven and a half hours. And I was like, how dumb. Sweet. So I just laid down. I was like, sweet. Got my ticket. Went 20 yards away from them so they could still watch me. And I just laid down on a bench and started reading books on my Kindle. I went through two and a half books Jeez. and then got on the next plane. I feel and like I it's like, just okay. a small airport thing. Well, it's an international. Well, no, no, listen. This <laughs> Wilmington's is, an international international airport. This is what's, back. what's messed up. Is I'm glad you said that because I was going to follow up by saying, I made a lot of friends, let's just say, after the whole day. I made a lot of friends. We knew each, everyone on the plane knew each other. We didn't want to know each other because we were with each other for over 12 hours. But these people go, these, this couple was like, I've flown out here, flown out here a bunch of times. So you're watching? Yeah. So I've flown out here a bunch of times, and every single time we are hours delayed, hours. Yeah, Wilmington is bad. So like Wilmington, you can get cheap flights, but you will not get timely flights yep. out of Wilmington. It's not worth it. It, it sounds is a, like it is an international airport. That's fucking it's insane. I, that I did not know that. Yeah. Sorry. So. Keep going about the what did the Uber do? The driver. Oh my god! When you got so to the hotel. We get to the Uber driver drops drops us off, and he goes, "I'm gonna come inside. I got to piss." You know, I'm gonna, all right. So he walks. He walks in. He goes to walk out. And you know how sliding doors, you know, they have an emergency function. You, if you push on them, they bust open. You know, they yeah. pop off the track. Yeah. This dude, he doesn't want to wait either. I was on the, in the same boat. He walks up to those doors. They didn't open because it's like 2 in the morning, so not program, not on. And so They're, they're locked. Yeah. They're locked. He walks up, and he, he fucking stands there for a second, and he just goes, boom. He pushes both doors open, <laughs> and they swing open. And then the guy at the front desk is like, well, they're sliding doors, but okay. That's what he says. <laughs> and then this guy walks out. Gets in his car and he just waves at us and then drives away. <laughs> so just awesome. did not care. Savage. That's funny. And so I popped the that doors back like on the track. That seems like a thing to do. It was so. So then funny. It takes you thirty minutes to get checked in, but then you're in. Like then I'm in. Thirty, right? You want to hear the? Uh, yeah. Then I'm in, right? And I'm like, oh, thank God, I've got my quesadilla that I put in a paper cup in the microwave. <laughs> thank God, I got food. Because they didn't give me a meal voucher. <laughs> Two thirty. Your drunk sister ate it. Oh my God. No, I no. I took. We had separate. They give us separate rooms, which is good, because they asked, you know, I'm not one to be picky, but my sister and boyfriend had a room, and I was like... I'm, I not, just, I'm not listening to that. I just said... I said <laughs> I'm I, not going to hear that. I said, I'd like a separate room, and they're like, well, we can only give it... I was like, I like a separate room. <laughs> and they're like, okay, yeah, here's me. Here's the, yeah. And so they handed me the paper, <laughs> and I'm like, I am not. And so, anyways, get in the hotel room, and I pass... I eat my quesadilla in a cup, pass the fuck out, and then... All of a sudden, this alarm goes off. iPhone alarm. Beep, 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 at four in the morning. Everyone knows that triggering alarm. Yep. And it doesn't stop till nine in the morning. Beep, 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 beep. The room behind you, right? Yeah, it was room right behind my head, and I was smacking the wall. I was like, it's just like here. I'm smacking the wall. Somebody missed their flight because I'm smacking the wall. He didn't wake up, and my it was so bad. Well, it was so bad that I actually texted my sister because we got. A notification that our flight the next day was actually delayed, which is funny. So, um, classic. And th- at like four in the morning, five, something like that, four thirty. And I text her. I said, "You see, you see, our flight's delayed." Because I knew she was probably up to. And she was like, "Yeah, I saw it." And she was like, "Also, like, what? Wh- whose alarm is that?" And she's in a different room. And I was like, huh, "I know I'm not the only one." Like, c- so it was so loud and. It changed tones. It went from like, doo 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 It was like different, five different alarms. I mean, for hours. So I didn't sleep at all. And then we get up, go to the airport. Our our uh, 1030 flight was delayed till 1250. Funny how 1250 was supposed to be the time of my flight, my original flight, the, na- the day before. So, <laughs> so that's like starting late. over. Starting all over. Starting all over at the same airport. So Should have gone home. Awful. But parents said, nah, I got no, I, I to sleep. They said, no, know, I got to get it. my eight hours. That's a lot of miles on that. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were thinking. I don't want to put that many miles on this. <laughs> They're like, that's at least $60 a gas. They're like, I cannot afford that. I don't even want to talk about it. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> But Your family's <laughs> awesome. They <It's> so funny. <laughs> Parents are dope. <laughs> so they just give zero fucks. They yeah. just like they give zero fucks about their kids. <laughs> yeah, <they're>, <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They're, they're, they're like, like, yeah, we're gonna punt you to the fucking wind. Fucking yeah. see you later, <laughs> right. vampires yeah. sucking on my. They money. left the. Fuck they off. left the house. Uh, later. That's it. We'll That's see you next year. 
And then logged off. And so, right. <laughs> like, so I think I'm going to move out and be with my friends for six months. But if I if it doesn't work out, can I move back in with you guys? No! no the nope. second you're gone, you're gone. gone and so. guess what? Now you suggested it, so it's happening. You're gone. Gone. That's Definitely it. Definitely gone. No, no more Christmas. The, the Papa and Mama Dillies. But oh, no, that's all good. No, that's all good. No, they're legends. They yeah, are legends. That shit fucking people. is so funny when they do stuff like that. Yeah, it is. Um, So day so. two. It's day two, retry. Day two. Your, right? the, your redo day. I'm on the plane. Um, when I say when I mean a motherfucker's hungry, I mean a motherfucker's hungry. But you had I breakfast was, though. I did have breakfast in that at the hotel. At the hotel, I loaded up. I loaded. I stole. I mean, I was like a thief in the it night. Was, it I was just like illegal. Mm, mm, I always I get the newspaper up. when I get breakfast at a hotel. Really? Yeah, really? I always read the local newspaper that's while I'm eating my breakfast Actually, at a hotel. I'm gonna fucking do that from now on because that's pretty good because it's it's not you could be fr- in a totally different city you've never been in. Yeah, you can you're like, what's happening here? That you have no idea what. It, yeah, when about. I was in Utah in Ogden uh, with Lady and right. whatnot, and yeah, we were getting breakfast before we were gonna go do our things and shit for that day, and I just go grab a newspaper and I start reading the newspaper, and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm reading the newspaper." Because like, it's stuff you don't hear about normally. That's awesome. I'm That's pretty cool. That. Yeah, I always read the local newspaper. They always have them for free because oh, it's always, a paper yeah. fucking newspaper. No one gets those anymore, True. so they just yeah, give them funny. out. Yeah, ho- hotels are like, give me that shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, but you so loaded up. At breakfast. Yeah, loaded up. So I did. Tell them about the sandwich. I did a lot. Um. Oh, wait, what I made? Yeah. Yeah. So I had. They had those. You know, the circular egg patties, kind of like you know. Yeah. Some, the powdered egg down. shit. Yeah. They had circular egg patties. I put a bunch of them Johnsons. Same. My sister did the same thing. A bunch of these, and I put two English muffins. And I had this stack with syrup <laughs> on top of it. And there's people getting one. You know, they're putting on their plate, and I fucking grab these tongs and I go zoom. <laughs> and I set them down and set them on these English muffins. It was just a tower. It was sandwich. a tower of English muffins, <laughs> and I had muffins and shit. It was like the pyramid, the food pyramid, and it was just just stacked. So Did you walk through TSA with that? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I, yeah, I in his gut. I ate, I like ate all yeah my gut, ate all of it. And so then I was good. But you made it on the plane. Made it on the plane, right? And still had to wait a couple where? hours. To Dallas Fort Worth. Okay. Fuck that fucking airport. So the biggest airport I've been to. What? No, Denver's bigger than Dallas Fort Worth. Is it? Oh yeah, my god. It has to be. Yeah, well, it's a lot bigger, but Dallas Fort Worth, it feels bigger because they're retarded and shitty because they make you ride that stupid fucking <laughs> train, train that around the whole ride. entire fucking Just airport. to get to one yes, spot. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I preach every time I fucking <laughs> hate that airport. <laughs> it's because stupid. of the stupid train. Well, I had to go I had to go to uh, Fuck. Gate, gate. <laughs> I had to go to Gate A, yeah, and I started at B. Oh, and they just to go all you. the way around. You, they cock tease you. You have those little in-flight fucking maps and everything that they give you on the backrest, and they're like, "Ooh, you can look at your fucking where your next gate is at the fucking airport, uh. so that way you can get there." Location. And so you're looking, and you're like, "Oh, Gate A, right there. Oh, Gate B is like oh, just nice. across, Straight just shot. across the hallway." I just that's have why to, it feels bigger. I just have to walk across the hallway. And then I'm at gate B. And then you get nope. to out of the plane yep. into the airport and you're like, Where's the where's the walkway to get to gate B? And they're like, Oh no, honey, you gotta get on the train. And I'm like, but it's right there. Like I literally it's on the other side of that wall. It's ridiculous. And it's they're like, No, train. Train. It take it So then you take a ten minute train ride <laughs> all the way around the airport to get, get two hundred yards. Literally That sounds stupid. So, so bad. It's yeah, so retarded. I needed to go to A. And right. I think I was at B when I got off the plane, gate B or whatever, terminal, whatever it is. Should just be like so yeah. down the stairs or around the corner. Yeah, there's like a go like over a standard a bridge. walkway. Something. Yeah. It's all based on. So if like if you're actually late to a flight or something, it's oh, it would drive fucked. me mad sitting yeah. on a train waiting to go all the way around and there's no other access. Yeah, like access. to imagine this because like uh, Dallas Fort Worth is not that big of an airport. Like I guess it's, it's probably not. like a terminal, one and a half terminals from DIA. Right. Yep. It's that yeah. mu- it, so it's like DIA is probably triple the size. Yeah, yeah. DIA is fucking insane. Yeah. It so just imagine airport. this. So you go to you take Can't the train, uh, the smart wait. trains at DIA, right. smart, usable, sensible trains. Those are smart trains to go from terminal to terminal, and then you get to. B they train. still suck because they you have to be packed in like fucking sardines. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, one thousand percent. Just like smart, New York. Though. Yeah. Yeah, they are smart, True. and it does make sense. So you get to B terminal, and right. you're like, oh, I need to go to gate B fifty seven. Right. And I'm, like I'm at B- B- gate, yeah, exactly. And I'm at gate B sixty three. And you're like, oh, 57, 63, 10 gates. That's all. Right. I'm yep. gonna walk it. 
And they do let you walk that. Yeah, they let in you Denver. walk everywhere. They let you walk everywhere in Denver. Lots of and walking. And it's great. Now, just imagine if you go to gate 57 off of that tra- smart train, right. and you're like, oh, I can literally see the gate. It's 500 yards down that way. Right. And they're like, the sick, get the train and do a giant fucking loop-de-loop for 10 minutes around this one terminal, and then you can get off at your gate. I don't know what why they did that. It is the stupidest design. It's okay. as bad as it sounds. So, so you, you, It's so bad. You went to yeah. Fort Worth. Yeah, How long so was your uh, uh, over 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 uh, layo- layover? Over lay layover, same thing. <laughs> over lay, I was like, backwards overlay. words, <laughs> backwards words, <laughs> layover. Yep. Five hours. He's doing math. He's like, so fuck. <laughs> seventeen <laughs> fucking beep five. Beep carry beep the beep one. Uh, <laughs> uh, six. Carry the English muffin. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty much like yeah. It's pretty much like it. Yeah, five hours. He had one of those around his waist after that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so five hour layover. I'm I. So I get dropped off, you know, and then. I'm, I'm sorry for all the side tangents. You just made me remember another TSA story. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get, get to that. He's got to finish. So then so I'm on this train, and I'm on it for like five minutes, and then my sister her boyfriend get off. She goes, all right, see ya. And they only had to wait like a half hour till the next flight. So, And they were going to Colorado Springs. And mm-hmm. I was like, all right, so I'm in that airport for hours. I am so tired. I'm not even human anymore. And I, like, and I, know yeah, I didn't only, sleep at all. I didn't sleep at all. It was like a couple days. I mean, it just felt so long. It was right. like hell. It was like welcome to hell. Like you came, <laughs> you're on the plane, and then when I got back and and I'm sitting in the same seat that I was sitting in all day, it oh, felt yeah. like hell. And so terrible because I had to wait seven eight hours, but and that's enough. At least I got to get on the plane. Yeah. So and so so that happened. So then that was Fort Worth, and then I flew. I thought it was only a, like a two hour flight. Like an hour, honestly, I thought it was like an hour and a half from for Fort Worth reason. to Boise. Yeah. No, this no. shit's long, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's probably like four or five. Bro, you're Is literally south. I don't go north, up. bro. Yeah, I know. I I don't for whatever. Yeah, reason. like you literally have to go like almost the whole entire northern distance. Yeah. yeah. So that makes how, more sense. How long was it? It's three hours. Yeah. Okay. So it's still not yeah. terrible though. So then I. I'm like jet streams are a wild thing. I don't understand how those shits work. Yeah, yeah I know. It is pretty that is crazy. Fucking insane. I've the maps of them are fucking like Yeah, dude, I have nuts. flown direct from North Carolina to California. And it yeah, California like Beach California. Yep. You can in fly four that and direct? a half. Yeah, direct in four and a half mm-hmm. hours for military flights. But from east to west? Yeah, east yeah. to west. And I was like Four and a half hours. I was like, "How the fuck did this work?" Yeah, that's why I was like confused with. I feel like Boise to but it's Dallas, like seven hours the other way. Well, no, it, uh, well, it's it's like so crazy, it's like those yeah. direct, like four and a half hours. But then, like, I've taken flights from North Carolina to Denver, and that was also four and a half hours. And I'm like, so, so it's like how? That's what I was wondering. How's I mean, the process work? <laughs> make it make sense. So, yeah. Where so where are we physically? <laughs> so then I I landed in, in Boise though, and you uh, talked to someone nice on the plane. Oh my god. Oh, you were talking to a nice honey. So. I was talking so this, gr- so <laughs> from uh was from, it from Dallas to Boise, D- from Dallas to uh Fort North oh, Carolina okay, when okay. I was on the way there. Well, I get on, so I I'm I mean, give me the, give you the give everyone a summary I guess. Um, so I get on the plane and there's nobody between us. This girl sitting in the aisle, middle seats uh, open, middle seats open, and so I take that as you know that's God working. So I was like, I'll talk what, to her. Your cock to sit in the middle seat. Pretty much, so, <laughs> no, so I've I, seen it happen. I, <laughs> I, uh, was like, all right, you know, I'll talk to her if she talks to me. I was like, I'm just, I'm gonna let you know, see what happens. Yeah, you're tired. And so, gotta let I'm it come like, to you. Yeah, so whatever. And so, she was like, hey, you know, she said hi, and then she was like, oh, it was so cold on my last flight, and that's what she said to me. And then I was just like, oh, cool, you know, I'm like, all right. So I'm just like, you know, right, trying to pick up my earphone, you know, I'm trying to listen to music, and then, right, then she kept talking, and she was. Totally, like, totally flirting with me. Like, this does not happen. This is not an often thing. But she was just... You know when it happens. She was trying to join Mile High Club, and you weren't... She definitely was. (laughs) So, middle seat open. You know what I mean? So, she, uh, you know, talking to me, asking me about my hobbies, everything, just would not stop. Just question after question. The whole flight. And she talked to me the whole flight. Usually, it's what guys do. So, that's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, if girls did this, 90% of the time... Women are, you know, you guys are listening to this. She, good work. looking? It'll work. Oh, she, she was good looking, yeah. How she old was, was she? She was she's probably she was probably my age. Okay. She probably was like... So what you do about it? <laughs> yep. Well, here's where the loop, everything goes thrown. Cra- everything's crazy. So thrown for loop. Um, it's a dude. You know, <laughs> no, that would, that would, that be, would be a scary. crazy catch. That would be scary. But there's one involved. Catch a dick um, in his mouth. So... <laughs> 
Anyways, my so my <laughs> club, <laughs> my like cock. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, you know, talking to her, I said, "Oh, what brings I you to like cock into the taunts?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What brings you to North Carolina?" And she goes, "Oh, was her name like, Candace?" No, I don't know. I didn't Candace know her name. Actually, you never asked in your mouth. <laughs> 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 Got him. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's good. Um, no, I d- I never asked her for. I never asked. Her, I didn't know what her name. You never was. asked her for her name, which is <coughs> fucking hysterical. No, no, how long was the flight, dude? dude that was a How I Met Your Mother episode. That was a great episode. Anyway, this pretty much could have been. But it was. It was like what was it, like four hours or something. It was long. It was a long flight. So and talk the whole time. That's a lot. That's at least three pumps, right? So, I mean, at she, least <laughs> she. Jeez, for some guys, that's like, that's like eighteen rounds, right? Yeah, there. it is. So I need to sleep. Rounded. I can't do Sport. that. No. But I, I got. I need at least twenty minute nap between sessions. A little break. Yeah, some little half to half time. Right. Yeah, pretty much so what it is. All right. So, uh, yeah. What's the catch? This. What's the catch? So the catch is, I said, what brings you north? We got to get you to Boise. You're still fucking flying. It's unbelievable. I said, I said. <laughs> Well, brings you to North Carolina. She said, oh, oh, my boyfriend's out there. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was kind of like, wow, that's surprising. You've been definitely wanting to know everything about me. For <laughs> and you have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. And then she throws me for another loop. She goes, yeah, blah, blah. And so since I'm pregnant, I blah, blah. And I was like, wow. That's a like, fucking, no, that's a gold standard. So I'm like, that's a gold standard because oh, you good. can't get her pregnant. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I didn't think of that one. Can't dude, impregnate you, the pregnito. Dude, you can <laughs> fill her guts at 10,000 feet and not have fucking fears. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about when you're. <laughs> oh, my God. The old Mile High Club birth control, baby. Yeah, dude, you can give that fucking little so fucking bad. baby a high five with your bell end. <laughs> You know what I fucking... <laughs> no, I give two fucks about nothing. You're so like, I'm going to squirt my boys into you, and that boy can just suck him right up. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. You sh- <laughs> that baby thinks he's getting a vanilla Tootsie Roll, baby. He need- <laughs> Is that an ice cream sundae or my fucking baby bra? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Jesus Christ, mine's bigger than that. <laughs> this is so bad. That's terrible. That's terrible. It's so funny, though. It's <laughs> fucking but hysterical. Fuck MILFs while they're early. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to hit it with one more fucking derby hit right there. So. Jesus. So then I'll, I'll hit her with a mushroom stamp. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and so we're back. What? Okay. Um, fuck yeah, after that. Jesus Christ. So here, put it up here now. That happened, and then we're getting off the plane. I'm just going to ignore what happened just now. Um, the baby can't. All right, so I get off the plane, and she we're walking this little walkway, that tunnel, you know, and she's in front of me, and I'm like, I'm not gonna say, you know, good luck, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be nice. And I was like, we'll see if she says anything. I was just like, I was like, I'm not, you know, just it's. It was just, I was so suspicious. I was like, somebody paid her, you know. I'm like, this is not good. So then she slows down, stands next to me, starts walking with me, and I'm like, I'm not saying anything. And then. Right when I walk out of the tunnel, I walk over to my sister because she had the same flight there, and so she saw she's her. Like, yeah, she saw her, and then this girl goes, "Well, good luck with everything. It's really nice to meet you." And then walks away, and I was like, "What?" The? And then my sister's like, "Who did was you that? say anything back?" I was no, I did. I was like, "Yeah, it was nice to meet you too. You know, good luck." I was like, "Good luck, whatever." It, I almost like blacked out because I was so surprised. <laughs> right. I was did like, "Oh, good luck," that. and I was like, "What the?" And then my sister was like, who was that? I was like, I don't even know her name. I was like, <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. And so mysterious girl gone forever. But So if you're listening to this and you somehow, can you imagine she's on so this podcast? Cool. That would be so That'd be cool. That would be crazy. Uh, hit us up in the comments. We have like yeah. 50 fucking comments yeah. that just, then all their names are mysterious girl. Mysterious. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody Every knows mysterious girl. girl. Everybody yeah, just makes fucking accounts and there's Steary. just all just ra- different girls' <laughs> names. Mysterious girl. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that was so fun. Oh, that was me. Yeah, that would yeah. be so fucking funny. That would be so really wild. Cool. So, yeah, good it was trip. Yeah, really cool. Really good trip, though. The we traveling fucked. Traveling a little bit messed up. Was fucked. So but the trip. The trip was awesome. About, we got to finish up this story. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a long story. Like, right now. So, yeah. Yeah. It was just what, a good trip. Let's talk about what you got your sisters and what they got you. We have to talk about this. <laughs> well, we got to so, talk about what they got you. So, double ended dildo. Nikki, Nikki, uh, you are now on our pod, but I'm not going to answer that. 
I'm gonna, yep, sorry, buddy. Yeah, it's going to be. We'll you talk can about show it. We'll Dilly your soon. dick later. We'll talk yeah. about that. Um, so, oh, yeah. So I got them gift cards, you could say. And you, you know, went shopping there. Victoria's Secrets there. gift cards because you're weird? <laughs> no, yeah. I got them Starbucks. Just to clear it up, I got them Starbucks <laughs> gift cards. So, Sounds that's like so in. Well, they're basic, you know. Girls like Starbucks. That's and what so. I give a basic broad to get fucking. Head. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I give the girl on the plane to give me fucking scully in the goddamn fucking. I don't give that to my family. <laughs> <laughs> I give my family at least the Starbucks fucking roast fucking coffee beans. I didn't. I, I should have just got them. Yeah, literal <laughs> coffee beans would probably have been better. What the fuck, I didn't know. Dude. I didn't know. So you're complaining about your parents saying "fuck y'all, children." <laughs> I'm leaving you at the airport. You said "fuck y'all, family." I'm giving you gift cards. <laughs> That's what fucking Auntie Sheila from Connecticut that hasn't seen me since I was four gives me because she doesn't know who I am. Right. I didn't know what to get him, and so yeah, so I got him that. But then, well, how long did you think about it? How long have you known them? Well, I didn't. I didn't yeah. So well, he also went sh- Christmas shopping there. There, yeah. Well, it was effective, you know. <laughs> it's real, you know. It's good. It works. Yeah. I couldn't carry How'd anything. How you manage this? Well, I couldn't carry anything in my what? backpack. Just a uh, fucking like, checked that bag. That's what Lady and I are doing for our right. Colorado that trip. Money though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. I had that carry on. I know that's what, I know that's I what Marin, Marin and I are doing too. We're getting we got a whole bag just for fucking presents. Yeah, we're yeah. like we're both checking. of us are doing carry ons, and then we have one jumbo luggage check bag, that and that's going to be all the presents. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, that's that is smart. Yeah, you, so you should have seen the fucking backpack oh this fucking dude brought. It was the smallest <laughs> backpack I've ever seen. It was like <laughs> stretched out, dude. It the was damn, that big? Oh, it was like a Jansport backpack. Yes. It was a yeah, and it was and the stitching was like stretched. <laughs> Oh, and TSA, because he fit a fucking week Dude, and a half in that. It looked like thing. a damn bowling ball in TSA. <laughs> they chuck in the machine. It's like, go, 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 and then he goes through the X-ray. And I'm holding up the damn line. They're looking through that shit because I, I mean, ever usually this. They it, made me look. They made me show my Johnson at the TSA, and that was hilarious. That was my. Did side they in front of everyone or not in front of everyone? No, I made okay. it in front of everybody. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, well, it's healthy, you know. It's healthy for everyone. So they're like, I think you're packing heat. Let me show you. Said, <laughs> they were like, there's that's an, not allowed on the plane. They sir. literally <laughs> said because like when I you're had, gonna have to let that go. When I had to fucking like undo my belt and everything, my pants sagged and I didn't realize that. So oh, it, like no. it sagged, so it like made an unusually large amount of mass. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they said it, and I just responded with a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I, you. I haven't heard that exactly. <laughs> that is but awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. And they're like, so anyway, we have to see if you have a bomb in your pants. And I was like, some people. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've gotten that one before, though. You heard about that? Oh uh, no, no, I didn't say that one. But I was like, they were like, so you can look in it. You can have a search you in a private room or right here if you want. And I was like, oh, we're doing it right here. Oh, we're doing it here. And this You're done. dude, he was like a thirty-five, super overweight. Obviously, being TSA was his last option. Yeah. Does not want to be there, there dude. And he was like, some good ones, I, I really, they, got, uh, dude, they do pretty good. I don't yeah, know. but I was, it was obvious he, that was not his right. goal he wasn't to be TSA yep. and yeah. whatnot. And he was like, you motherfucker, that was the option I was not wanting you to fucking pick. Yeah, right you now. could tell. I was joking. You could I tell. Like, and you're like, it you're really, done. it was just the private room. Like, I just had to say that for semantics. But now that you said that, I guess we have to. I guess we're doing it. So, Amazing. yeah, like 65 people saw him touch my Johnson. And it's like, what do you, yeah. Just can't say I've said the same thing. But so, hey, here yeah. we go. A large amount of mass in your <laughs> crotch area. Imagine <laughs> holding up TSA because your <laughs> cock's you. so big. <laughs> thank you. That's, thank, thank you. Thank you. One, brother. Thanks for that. I'd like so, to get pulled over every time if this is like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. You keep telling me that, I'm rolling right down this road man. every time, bro. Fuck oh yeah. God. Anyway, so what happened? Said, um. Oh, yeah, usually they dissect my bag every, the last tw- two times oh, yeah, I've had the bag. Little ass backpack. Yeah, the backpack. So Let's get to the presents. You so fucking got him oh Starbucks. Yeah. I got cards. I got him Starbucks gift cards because you didn't know and you were last second, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, last second. Okay. And then, would you get your parents your... a handshake? No, I got him. <laughs> I got him a sweater. Not even not much better. A but sweater for two people. <laughs> no, two, for y- no. A s- <laughs> oh, I thought you were serious. <laughs> no, no, no. Two separate sweaters. <laughs> two separate sweaters. But it costs a lot to get out there, so that was the big thing. Like it actually was like a lot. So then, <laughs> My so present is me being you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So. Clearly, they wanted to get rid of that present. And <laughs> yeah, they said, <laughs> get it on now. And like, thanks for the present. But my sister got me an Apple Watch. I was going to talk about right? <laughs> right. So and I got, got him a gift card. <laughs> yeah. See? Exactly. Exactly. Well, how am I, I supposed to know? I, I didn't know she was getting me. That's justified. I didn't even know it was justified to shit on you for getting your family gift cards. Now <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know she was getting me this. And I was like, no. Like, take it back, That's please. That's cap. Because I'm like, you what? Just... I knew. I said she was going to get something crazy. 
<laughs> he always knows that she. Is this beer nice. bong or the other one? Other one. Nice. She gets something crazy every year for everybody, and I was the one that g- got something crazy, and I was like, "Damn it!" Because I felt so <laughs> bad. How much was the gift? I'm card? like twenty bucks. It's twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> It's like three You're drinks. A piece of shit. <laughs> Two or three <laughs> drinks. It was fifty dollars for both of them, though. I spent fifty dollars a person on my family. I don't have that kind of dough, though. I had it's to get Christmas. out there. I had to get out That's there. That's true. It's true. That, to be fair, yeah, I it, was, hard. Hard. it was a seven hundred dollar plane ticket. So. There's a lot, <laughs> yeah. But it was. I just was thinking, and it was casual. My parents got me <laughs> hey, just wait. clothes. To like, be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. There we go. It was. It was casual though for everyone, and then they got she got me this, and well, I was like, damn. So then the worst part was no, this is the best part. Let's talk about the gift card got rejected at Starbucks. Yeah, no. So (laughs) the worst part, the best part, funny. I try to connect my iPhone Seven Plus to the Apple Watch, and then it said it basically was like, "Mm, no, you're stupid and old. It said. It said it's not compatible with this iOS. It has to be 16, I think, or later or something. And so I go, oh, okay, I'll just update my phone. And it says, your phone is up to date. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I got to get a new did phone. Did you think about selling the Apple Watch before you thought about getting <laughs> a new phone? How did you fucking know? No way. <laughs> I almost <laughs> No was, way. I know you do good. <laughs> he knows me. Well, I was like, he's going to get an iPhone SE if he updates. Because he got an iPhone SE. He gets an Apple Watch, and it says, you have to get a new phone if you want to use this bitch. He says, I'm going to sell it first. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> you sell him a fucking insane Christmas so present. So, I almost, I almost told her. This is a great time. I almost told her. I was like, just because I was like, I really like my iPhone 7 Plus. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just ask, have to ask you to take it back. But I was like, no, that's so messed up. And I was like, me messed up. so bad. So then. Is it worse to fucking sell it? I think so. <laughs> you cheap sold bastard. It. Well, it was you sad. You cheap but <laughs> fucking <laughs> bastard. It, was more conven- it would have been more convenient if I was just like, I'll just swap it out, you know, for money. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> For money? <laughs> I'll just swap You're it out. Fucking <laughs> piece of so shit. That's so bad. <laughs> that's so but funny. I, I wasn't going to do that. I was like, I was, that's so bad. Was, whole family is like this, too. Was, that's the fucking so problem. You're it's literally so all of you. It's in our blood. <laughs> Dude, it's it so is. Funny. All of us. I was dying when you fucking texted me. You're like, it was like 7.30 in the morning. You're like, my sister got me an Apple Watch. <laughs> my brand new Apple Watch it, yeah. doesn't pair to my yeah. iPhone. Yeah, and it's like, it, it, my uh, my phone's too old. And, I'm, and the, I didn't say anything about the phone or the Apple Watch. I go, what did you get your sister? Did and I even like, answer? Yeah, you're like, Starbucks gift card. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, all, all I said, I can read back the text. I'm like, we're talking about that on the pod. <laughs> I was like, yeah. we got to talk about and that. And I was like. Damn it! Like That's so, so fucking bad. funny. So I did get the iPhone SE. You know what do you think? I actually really. So you did get go and you. Uh, it's like three really generation. The body is like three generations behind, but uh, it has fuck, the more than that. It looks like it's an iPhone more 8. More than that. That's shit. all it is. So it's an we're iPhone at fourteen. So it's an yeah. iPhone eight, but with an iPhone That's fourteen like processor. Boom. That's four or five generations. So it, body wise, it's pretty cool. For considering that, it looks that. like a fucking iPod. Uh, it does. Look, look it does. Thing. But like I Mail knew said, you would get the fucking ass. <laughs> he knows me so well. It's the poor man's iPhone. Like it I just is. said before it the pod, quality, if the fucking it's Apple a made a iPhone. flip phone, yeah. Dilly would be the first person to be like, "I'm trading it in." Right. I would. I would. I can't even lie. They're like, "Flip phone, good for 15 years," and he's like, "Say less, bitch." I'm <laughs> like, "That's it." He wouldn't be the first one in line. He'd wait a year and a half for the price. Of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, then I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, but, but what do you think of the uh, SE? I. I I actually love it. I do love it because I miss the smaller size the phones. What about the what about the screen size? So here's the thing: the display, uh, iPhone Seven Plus is unbeatable. It's so large. Well, that's unbeatable. What is that? Is that fourteen bigger? plus? Yeah. Oh, the plus but fourteen. There's plus. no fucking bars. Yeah, the seven had the bars. Oh, Look yeah. at his phone. Look at that. Oh yeah. So there's no the bars. Right? I just have top the notch. bottom, bro. I got that notch, and it's, it's the amazing. smallest notch ever. So it's amazing. Yeah. Well, I I think the biggest thing for me was I was like. Man, I wish Apple still made phones with the home button. And then I went, boom. And it was on there, and I said, sold. I was like, I really like the home button. I know it's... it's no, it's 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 probably... And well, I, I'd say it's only better because of the fr- fingerprint. Yes. What I Yes. And I, I love this because it's not a real button. L- most people don't know. It's like a pressure right. sensor. Right, right, right. So it's like sealed up. But I think you know, like, it's like this, this whole thing... The bar is, or whatever is it's faster, like you know what I mean. It yeah, is. Yeah, just the it's it's more fluid and just shit. the tr- 
It's a good design. It is. I think it was clever. It was very yeah. clever for them to. No, it is good. Big to get rid of the home right. button. No, they had to do it. So I love it. I just I love this. But so it, like Mail said, inside you know it processes the same. It's yeah. very fast. It's awesome. But right. I, I. What's mean, the battery life on that thing? Because it has to have a tiny battery, so it's probably not good. So yeah, I looked it up. It's like two thousand whatever ma mah mah. Mil- I'm asking about the, like battery life, like. Right. Well, how Will yeah, it go how like long? 16 hours? It said 50. It's rated at 15 hours. So it's oh, damn. I'm doing good. Today. Yeah, you that's good. good. So it's big. It's I'm like I got 27 hours on this. 27. Yeah. yeah. So like you definitely I think get mine's like a 21 or something. They definitely cut corners because it's got the same. <laughs> Cat sick of shit. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> God damn it! I forgot. It's got the same we camera. A, <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say let's put a we should put a mic inside a the fucking a quick little. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear. Her. We but put a mic in this room, and she's just like, oh, oh. All right. she cries So is this the end of the North yeah. Carolina yeah. story? Pretty much. That's so it. That was yeah. almost a full episode. Yeah. Go that ahead, was guys. a full, almost almost full episode. Yeah. But that was fucking, that was too funny. So. That was funny, and I talked about fucking pregnant girls, so. Which is funny. That, that funny. is. <laughs> that was great. I um, almost fucked a pregnant girl. So, okay, I'll get to, <laughs> I'll get to my topic. That Mile High th- Baby is the title? Ah. Uh, I'm writing it down. My own baby, um, my baby. I'll let you talk about your trip, and then we'll talk about the one we're really excited about. Okay. I'm going to speed run through my trip. Okay, go, go for it. Go for it. All right. So, yeah, I went down to Jackpot, Nevada with right. buddies from work because got all, we all got our bonuses, so we're like, best thing to do is fucking gamble with that. <laughs> right. yeah. um, so we go down there. There's literally two casinos, and then that's the city. Wow. Finished. Love Done. It. It, literally <laughs> everybody there is from Idaho because it's Idaho right, doesn't have right gambling there. and it's literally on the border. Can you not gamble in? No, no, you can't gamble in Idaho. Is it illegal? Like, yeah, yep. really? Yeah. yeah. So you have to go down to Nevada. What? So jackpot literally exists because Idaho doesn't have gambling. It's on the border. Literally that. every single person in that fucking casino is, including the dealers, are from well, Idaho. The town's right on the border. Yeah, wow. they're literally every single person there, including the staff, is from Idaho. It's insane and hilarious. Wow. There's two casinos. Done. So six of us split a hotel room. Um, Smart. So it ended up being 20 bucks a person. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, it was hilarious. And so we're fucking gumbla in a way. So <laughs> gumbla. 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 And one of my main buddies, he, him and I were like, all right, we'll stick together. And then everybody else is like, if we stick together, we don't, we don't, we do, we do. But him and I were like, all right, we're sticking together and we're helping each other out to make sure we get back to the fucking hotel room at night and we're not right. in a fucking stupid situation. Nice, yeah. So, um, we're fucking, we can't get a fucking table to open up for blackjack or roulette or anything wow. at the first casino. We can't get a fucking drink because they'll give you free booze. That's the thing. Casinos yep. give you free booze. They do. You don't pay any dollars for alcohol so long as you're gambling. It's yep. crazy. Yeah. So we were like, we, we got just to tip though. Yeah, we do have to tip. Um, but so we just like keep on fucking like gambling. In Vegas. We went to the slots. Yep. We were just fucking cranking slots. Uh, wait, like a uh, cocktail wait- waitress was just come oh, up. Yeah. yeah, they'll come around every like twenty minutes or so. And then you don't pay for the drinks. It's free drinks. Oh, that's yeah. right. But you have to I've tip in Vegas. You got to tip good. I literally just kept. You have to tip good. I handed her, yeah, a couple of Benjamins. I'd be like. Yeah. I give them a dollar every time. No, 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 no. No, they you give them. Uh, no, no, no. You give them like. They wouldn't come back. Yeah, you give them like. They wouldn't come back. So this one, you don't have to Damn. tip the servers. She was there like. That. <laughs> they oh, don't. This one, they don't. You don't tip the servers, but you tip the dealers. Oh yes. Yeah, oh yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. You, may, the dealer will give a signal to the server. It's like they're cut off. Don't give them more, kind of thing. If you're not like betting or like you're uh, like you're being, not an you're asset being to way him. too drunk or you're not t- tipping this and that, the dealer can be like, no, you're not getting nothing. Wow. They're not going to get nothing. They'll like give a quiet signal right, kind of right. thing. Wow. Trying yeah. to make sure you don't notice. Well, um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, we just walk across the street in this freezing cold weather because right. it was like 20 degrees, go over to the other casino, instantly get a table, instantly start getting booze. And on the way down there, I was like, I want to get blitzed. I don't want to be gambling sober. Right. So I drank half a bottle of Bamboo and Pepsi. Um, wow. Half a bottle of Bamboo mixed with nice. Pepsi on the way down. Ugh. So I was feeling nice. Right. Um, and they just kept on feeding it. So my buddy and I just kept on drinking Jack and Cokes and fucking Coronas nonstop. I probably had like six Jack and Cokes and yeah. probably eight Coronas. Sitting at the tables, right? I was doing me. great at fucking roulette. I was up like three hundred. Really? I was doing like I was up like three hundred on roulette. Wow. I wanted to stay at roulette, but my buddy was not doing good and he was bleeding chips. So yeah. we switched over to blackjack. He started doing okay. 
but also still losing, but not as fast. Do any and slots? then I was just losing. I did it in slots for ten minutes, and I lost like thirty yeah. bucks. And I was like, I'm done. It's a scam. Yeah. Um, yeah. Roulette's way better. I love roulette. So do you? I'll win? stick with. So I ended yeah, up like I ended up losing like two hundred bucks overall the course of the night. Yeah. But hey. got so drunk. It's the price so to pay bad. for a good time. Like I got all I got blackout drunk. Just one night. Yeah. Did literally you? go down there straight after work. Was there. Got there at like nine o'clock. Instantly start gambling. Gambled until four in the morning. Woke up at seven. Went Did to you the pack cas- anything? No, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> went to the casino. Uh, breakfast. How long is the drive? Two and a half hours. Okay, not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, fucking wake up at nine. Go to the casino. Breakfast. Restaurant. Oh, eat nice. breakfast. Bomb back up here. Got back here at like eleven thirty, ten o'clock. Jeez. God, dude. Eleven thirty noon, something like that. I'm afraid the day that I gamble. Because I believe that I will be yeah. addicted. But to like, it. dude, here's the especially stupid part. if you win money. Yeah, so like, there was fucked. <laughs> there was so be a fuckhead. Here's the stupid It'll be part. So funny. On we the ground, go not on the Vegas. pavement, but yeah, on the too. like on the dirt. Three inches of snow there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we walk. So we walk all the way across the street. It's probably like a quarter mile walk, half a mile walk from casino to hotel room. Okay. And whatnot. We walk all the way across the snowy fucking field to get there. We get there. We're about to open up the door. To go into the hotel room and then just go to sleep. And w- the whole time we're joking there, like, we're like, yeah, man, we should fucking stuck around for just a little bit longer or something like that. And then my buddy just goes, I mean, yeah, we could have fucking just done one more drink. And I was like, I'm down for one more drink. And he's like, yeah, I guess so. I'm too. So we walked half a mile back oh in the freezing God. cold did and did that. And I was like, sick, we're going to both of us are going to get one more drink. And I was like, oh, it will be on me. So I get two Jack and Cokes, and when we get two Jack and Cokes, he's like, I'm not drinking. And I was like, what do you what? mean? And he's like, I'm driving in the morning, so I'm not going to drink anymore. And I was like, you have time to sleep. You don't need to do that. You can drink one more. Right. Oh, the and he was like, begins. And he was like, no, I'm not. And I was like, but he walked all the way back with bitch. You. Yeah. And, uh, what so do you mean? He's sl- going to sleep it off. What is he talking about? Yeah, exactly. But he didn't do it. So I drink my first Jack well, and Coke. What time is it? That's the thing. Four in the 4.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. that's 4, 4.30 right. in the morning. No, he had time. He, still be he still had time. But. Depends who I as you like small like me. No, I've he's bigger than me. Okay. Oh, okay, well, that's different. Because I'm drunk for like six hours. Yeah, he's you still got to do the drink, especially after the walk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was yeah. like, it off in the I, walk. that's what I told him. I was like, you're gonna burn off whatever in the walk. Right. Ends up you don't because I drink my one, <laughs> and yeah. then I'm like, dude, drink it. And he's I'll like, I'm not doing it. And I finally was like, fine, fuck it. I can't let it go to waste, so I'm drinking it. So I drink it, and I keep on nudging him. I'm like, sip a little, sip a little, and yeah. I'm getting blitzkrieg now. And, like, so I drank two Jack and Cokes in, like, ten minutes or less. Oh. And then we start walking back in the freezing cold. I puke multiple times on uh. the way back. He's carrying me and dragging me across the carpet. <laughs> I'm t- I'm getting so drunk. I'm so like, I'll fucking bad. slit your throat, bitch. And all this <laughs> stupid shit that hostile. I'm saying to him. Uh, being hostile. Yep. Get in the hotel room. I puke bloody murder into the toilet again. And then I pass the fuck out, and I wake up, and we're like, "What the fuck? We're getting a head count, and we're like, bah, 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 bah. we're missing a dude." Um, it's the one dude that no I'm not saying I'm not saying dudes' names, okay. but it's right. the one dude that I was like, "This is Dilly," but if Dilly had confidence, oh, yes. it was him. And we're like calling his phone, not answering, oh, not answering. And we're like, "Oh at. fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck!" I Last time we like. saw him was when someone left him at the tables, and he was flirting up with a cougar, and he's super confident, and it's like, damn, he's in the cougar's den, and he's making little cubs. He's a very confident dude. Yeah, so we're like, he f- he's jealous. fucking I'm, a milf. Really he's no fucking a way. cougar. That's what we were all, we all agreed, like, he's fucking a cougar, and right. it's like, great, now we have a hangover situation where we have to go around the city <laughs> searching for this motherfucker. <laughs> True. Because he went to a cougar's den last night, and get into the truck, his phone's in the truck. Oh, Because no. we were going to, instead of walking over, we were drove over to the fucking casino mm-hmm. that had the fucking breakfast thing. And so we're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. The whole, Not like, three-minute drive over there, we're like, how the fuck are we going to find him? We're all texting the right. group, like, how the fuck are we going to find this kid? Right. And this and that, and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, okay, we'll figure it out after breakfast, and blah, blah, blah. We'll talk about it over breakfast. Right. We walk in. This motherfucker is sitting at the blackjack table, still gambling no at way. fucking nine in the morning. We're oh like, we found him, and we go over to him, and he was like, "Where have you been?" And he's like, "I've been at this one table the whole night." And what a legend! All like, five hours since you we were gone. Dude, he went up four thousand dollars. He was up four grand. Walked out the door, hit the fucking cold air, and he was like, "What am I doing? I can get more." And went back, oh, lost no. it all over the course no. of the next few hours. That's, that'll be me. So he ended up oh. only losing like two hundred, but he was up like four grand. Oh, oh my god, dude, that's actually. He Whoa. was like a legend. Like all the bi- all the fucking dealers knew him. Tons of people at the fucking breakfast restaurant were coming up to him and they were like, "That was insane last night. How you just kept on putting <laughs> giant fucking fifties chips on these things." Well, you know? it's because 
I was because like, what the fuck? Probably a l- relatively smaller town. So you got invited to a fucking golf tournament in Boise. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He you would. He's just that I was type like, of what he's the just fuck? Dude's we're just good like, at everything. Jesus fucking Christ. And then we get down, we are eating breakfast, and I'm like, I need to sober up. I'm fucking hurting. So I'm like, yeah, I just right. drown my eggs and hash browns in Tabasco sauce, eat like fucking half Tabasco, half hash brown, yeah. and I'm good after that. This motherfucker e- drinks fucking two mimosas, and then we leave. And I'm like, dude, you fucking drink more alcohol? Like, stop Jeez, it. He's a liar. <laughs> he's just, I, I, yeah, I got I just. I would decompose at that point. Are you yeah. kidding me? Jesus. I was like, what the fuck? He def- so, yeah. How he was the casino, Jeff? The like casinos were good. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, um, cool. We'll have to do that. That sounds like dude, it, and it was well cheap fun. too. Like the yeah. one casino, my buddy and I stayed at the whole entire night. As long as you don't lose too much money. Yeah, dude, it was five dollar chi- five dollar bets for the blackjack. Oh man, what? Yeah, it was only five dollar bets. Holy shit! I really Vegas, think it's a like a hundred. Is it? Yeah, it's dude, crazy. I, I know it's not like that's why you got to stick with slots in Vegas, and that's why you lose all your money in Vegas because slots you'll never make money. Yeah, right. I, I would do it. There's I'm a really way. Pumped. <laughs> you got to be really, you got to be like educated. Yeah, like I was, that's why I was doing so good on roulettes. Like I was doing like, they were like minimum is like dollar bets on each thing. And right. then like if it was the edge things like black or white, it was a minimum of 10. Right. So I would do like 10 on red and then like I would put another 15 bets down on different numbers and shit. Okay. And I was always hitting because I so, had so much bets on the floor, so board. Were you up at all at any point? Yeah. Or? Like I said, oh, okay. like I started with roulette. And I was up three hundred bucks, so uh. off of my two hundred, so I was at like five hundred, and I was like, "Ooh, this is great! This is a good start tonight. This is fucking nice." And then we go to blackjack, lost it all, and I was like, "So, Fuck. if you win money, do you have to? Because obviously, you probably get taxed on it and stuff, right?" Yeah, they just instantly tax you there. Oh, okay. They just take the their they take their and then give yeah, they yours. take the deductions. Oh, okay, that's cool though. And and just like a paycheck. That's um, yeah, but that was my story, high speed story. Boom. Cool. Now let's talk about what we re- yeah, let's talk so about what we really fucking want to talk. The about. only mm-hmm. talk about. The the only talk topic I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> no, I'm the only talk to talk about. Who would who would talk about? <laughs> the only topic that we really fucking care about on that fucking document that we have. Yeah. Because the announcement. Well, happened. what you and I care about. Dilly can yeah, chime I know in. It's sports. Uh, yes. Actually, but was it, it what it, we saw? Yes. yes. It's the Colorado one. I want you to try to chime in as much as you can. Okay, I'm gonna try. You got this. Just ask questions. Okay, let me. That's think. the best way for you to keep, uh, you know, involved. Right, yeah. Yeah, let me think. Um, it happened two days after the last fucking pod we recorded, so... Yeah, I know. Fuck, like, if we just did it on time and Dilly's ass didn't It was all the speculations. Yeah, I'm going to have to... You re-listen to it. I need to go re-listen to it and hear what oh, I said. Oh, yeah, I know. It, really. Just that college football video, it's so funny because we talk about how, like, oh, USC, easy, they're going to fucking, you know, beat USC. No, I don't... No, I didn't say that. Utah. No, but it, you were like... I, the, you have the, to watch the, it because it's I know so I was like, USC has to win all yeah. of the Pac-12... Is right. rooting the, for USC right. because we need Pac-12. Like, in Utah the needs to fucking shut the fuck up and lose. And then I cut and I made it a meme and it was funny. So <laughs> check it out. Check out college football video. It was funny. Um, but insane, insane, insane. Two episodes ago, we literally said, "Did you see Colorado offered a job to Deion Sanders?" And we were both like, oh, "That yeah. would be wild. That it's would never gonna, happen." That's all he said. Would be wild. Quote for not quote. gonna fucking never happen. happen. Guess what? Two days later, it fucking happens. Happens. Insane. Arguably the greatest coaching hire in program history. Yeah. Arguable. It's, it's possible. We'll yeah. see what happens. But, but, it's already gone fucking nuts. They've already gotten 200,000 fucking followers on their fucking social medias. Oh, my gosh. In a matter of, tw- like, 48 tw- hours yeah. of yeah. it happening. It was blowing up. Colorado instantly went from, like, 75th, like, fucking top recruiting school in the country ranking for the off season yeah. to number two and number one and just like bouncing back and forth so between that. What's crazy what's crazy is they were so I mean they were terrible, right? Yeah, they went one in eleven. 11. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. And I think we combined with Colorado State it was between the two teams four twenty. Oh. How about that? I I think that's pretty great. Um I think we would <laughs> That is great. <laughs> That's really good. We would have as- assumed that, you know, eventually they would have come back, but not ever this Well, fast. no, okay. If you talked to us a month ago, it yeah. was it was the program's dead for five, ten years. Yeah, yeah. like, no, we t- a month ago I was literally talking about how the program's dead because of Colorado State law. Like, Colorado State law doesn't allow a certain num- number of coaching staffs to be paid over a certain number amount. So you constantly have a rotating – Defensive end fucking coaches and wow. fucking Wide offensive coordinators. Yeah. yeah, and offensive coordinators and all that. And the only one that you're really keeping is the head coach. And this and that and blah, blah, blah. And great head coaches won't come unless it's a great program. 
We just yeah. got a great head coach with not having a great program. It's insane. Wow. So and now we're getting the great. stars aligned. Okay. Yeah. They and signed the first day he was hired. They signed a five-star recruit for the fourth time in program history. And now we have Ever. four more four-star recruits coming in, two more five-stars. Is there something I can, can I get, is there like a stock in this? Can I invest in this? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Dude, fucking buy the, coach on the boat, pri- you know? buy the fucking Colorado Buffalo's prime time fucking hoodie and sell that shit for $300. Oh, yeah. Dude, imagine the people, yeah. There's other benefits. Oh, it's insane. Anyways, and that's what not this the topic, is go- but. So, we, we can talk about how much this is going to mean to, because yeah. my question is, and I said it before the pod started, but it was, is CU Pac-12 contenders instantly with Coach Prime? And no. what that is, is Pac-12 is the conference they're in. Oh, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. There's 10 conferences, right? Okay, yeah. And Pac-12 is in the top five conferences. Okay. Okay, I see. So can they win the conference? Are they contenders in the conference next right. year? Instantly with with him. I see. I see. What you're saying. Um, I think contenders, no competitive. Yes. Yes, I think that's a good way to put it. Here's another thing: if he stays for longer than five years, okay, because he's a guy where if w- they have a great three or four seasons, job offers from SEC and pro teams are going to be there. Right. Yeah. Thousand percent, but hypothetically, let's say he stays. Right? Let's say they have five unreal years. Right? They're mm-hmm. a fucking unbelievable football team, stacked to the gills with fucking unbelievable talent. Right? Yeah. Five years from now, and he stays. What are the odds? They're national contenders. If he stays and it goes the trajectory that we think it would go with him, w- with, with the recruits they're getting. Yeah, yeah, with the recruits that they're getting. And, like, the expected win rate that they're going to get, if he stays for longer than five years, yes. Think about that. I think Let's just stop. I would say, yeah, that's... Let's just stop and think about that. Yeah. National contender. It's a possibility. Obviously, we're talking hypotheticals here. This is just like the Russell Wilson thing when we got that for Denver Broncos. (laughs) We were like... Ain't that the truth. Oh, my God. We might actually go to the fucking... We're definitely going to the playoffs this year, at least. And now in 13 games, the 3 and 10. But... Yeah. Yeah. But I know we're talking hypothetical. But the fact it's a fucking possibility that it's in five years' time they could be one of the greatest college football teams in the country is fucking unbelievable. It's, crazy. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. hysterical. It's the door is hilarious. open. Like the door is actually open. The door is open. First time in our lifetime, it's open. Yeah. It's the closest yeah, it's we ever got was with uh, Coach, not the actual Coach Mac that we all love, that uh, Gospel of Co- According to Mac, but the other Coach Mac got us to rank yeah. number nine in the country. Yeah. That was the closest we got. In 2016. That was just a one hair wonder year. Yeah. But cuz we were shit after that. Yep. And been shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it's been rock bottom lo- this last season is rock bottom. So bad. Now they're saying it could be the pinnacle of Colorado football after that. It's yeah. unbelievable. It yeah. is insane. So Yeah, we'll see what happens. His you, How did you feel about him saying that his son's going to be the quarterback? Ooh. So, yeah, I have mixed feelings about that. I think his son's a sophomore, I think or something like that. Yeah, he I don't know if Dilly saw the video. No, um, not. Pretty much all Colorado fans send it, saw it, and that's why I sent a video on Facebook to my brother and my uncle, who both are CU alum. Right. And it was literally just the scene from uh, oh fuck, what was the, the Remember the Titans when oh, Coach yeah. Boone's first talks talking to him, and it's like, oh, football's fun. No, it's not. Or, oh, now we're guessing. No, no, that and this and that. Yeah. And it's like, see, fucking first team meeting at CU and all this and that with Dion. Because it, it literally was like that. He was like, enter the transfer portal. I'm bringing luggage. One of them's Lewis, which is his son. He's playing right. quarterback. This and that, blah, blah, blah. I respected dad looking out for his son and saying 100%. this and that. But, but, yeah. I think it, all in all, overall with that speech, right. I think was fucking – it was a fucking amazing speech. It like, was. He did really go well. into the transfer portal. He was like, if you're not willing to, he basically, it's stu- like he told the players that are there now, yeah, to leave really? if you're not ready. Yeah, he's like, if you are not ready to face this storm, face the fact that we are having five star recruits coming here, four star recruits coming here, we are having the best of the nation o- that is to be offered coming to this school now. If you are not ready to compete against them to and leave. fight for a spot against those type of players, just go into the transfer portal now because you're not going to make the team. Oh, well, 
First day on the job, he said that to the players. First so wow. day. That's and why he said, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he said, my son's going to be the quarterback here. Yeah, he was oh. like, I'm bringing luggage. One of them's Lewis and this and that. So that's the is only son part. good? Or? Oh, he, he's a, he's a, he's a, it's Deion Sanders' son. Oh, he's okay. great. Fucker's an athlete, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, that dude's great. That's the only thing. So, like, I don't. I like it and I don't like it because you have to see the context of what he's saying. Yeah, like the people team approving. that he just entered into um, was going one and eleven, and the starting quarterback for that one and eleven team painted on his fingernails "fuck Utah" when they played yeah, Utah. Is that guy? No, that was Caleb Williams. Was it? Yeah, that was Caleb Williams who won the Heisman. <laughs> Yeah. No, Colorado also did really? it. Really? Yeah. Did okay, they? I might have missed it because Colorado. Was there was a Colorado dude that also did that because okay, that was a b- huge headline. He was because like he was uh, talking about how like in team meetings people aren't wearing e- earrings in team meetings. People will not wear hats in team meetings. People awesome. won't have their hoods up in team meetings. You won't have people your phones. Will, yeah, phones will not be in this room. It's a team meeting. Yeah. In a team meeting, and real. this and that, like very that's fucking awesome. old school, and I oh, fucking yeah. love it. That's awesome. It's hard. He's. All about the work ethic. And that's why, like, sick. it was brought up, like, the fuck Utah shit on fingernails was, like, right. a big thing. Like, we're not having that fucking type of shit here, especially yeah. when you're going 1-11. Right. And whatnot. So, like, Lew- his son will absolutely play circles around the current Colorado quarterback. So, it's like, duh, no the shit. That kid's going to so start over that kid. But what happens if a recruit that's better than Lewis comes in? Yeah. He did say, to be fair, I talked to my dad about it because my dad, that was, like, out of everything he said, my dad loved it. Besides that, he didn't love. Yeah. Right? So your but dad and I are on this. Totally right. Agreeing. And I, I, I feel the same way because yeah. it's, it, def- it was like a, fuck yes, fuck yes. everything he said was like legendary, right? It was like fucking quotes. Yeah. It was like I'm loving quotes. it. I'm loving yeah. it. I'm loving it. And, and I'm loving like, it. And oh. now it's like I'm bringing Lewis, and it's like, Oy. that might be a question mark, but I guess we'll see Look, how that we're goes. Like, Ooh, we be l- <laughs> if he wasn't, if we just got him and yeah. he wasn't the coach, we would we'd be, be happy. fucking losing him, right? Yeah. But yeah, but. Also, got to look on the other side. He did say he's going to be the quarterback, but he's got to work for it. He did say he's got to yeah, earn well, it. He I said. hope yeah. he's not favoriting, you know, favoritism. Right. Yeah, that's the only worry is like. Right. I think but naturally. But also, look at what he's going up against at the moment. Right? Yeah, at yeah. the moment. That's also what he was saying. Yeah, at the moment, it's like no A shit. A one quarterback. Yeah. My son is obviously going to run circles around him. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Everybody so like, knows that. But what happens if a fucking five-star quarterback comes out of Southern California that's like, I want to play for Colorado, and now it's like, oh, Lewis is not as good as that five-star. Yeah. Right. Like, Lewis is a three-star. He's going to have to play. Lewis it. is good. Lewis will go to the NFL. Will he be a starter? Probably not. But will he be a good backup? It's possible. That'd be yeah. tough to be, like, his. I guess his son in that position if his dad yeah. was like, hey, well, you got to. Well, the coach, Mac, that got us to number nine also had his son play on the team. Which he was a wide I think, receiver, right? yeah, he was, and I think that was a way better situation. I think he handled that right. He said he has to be a fucking walk on. I'm not even let. He's not even like being invited in to this university. Whatever he deserves is what yeah. should happen. Yeah. So like that but, kid, yeah. my son, look ha- at Mac has to prove it. Right, that coach Mac, mm-hmm. and then look at Deion Sanders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Deion Sanders' son is gonna is obviously an insane athlete. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be professional at whatever he does. Oh yeah, athletically. So. Yeah. No matter what, how it sounded, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. And in the end, it's better than what we had with uh, 111. Much better. Much better. Much better, especially with the weapons he's getting. Yeah, so, of. like, so. that's really going to come to fruition if Colorado does really good. Right. And then what happens if a four-star recruit does want to come to Colorado? Because right. I think his son is a three-star. Yeah, okay, I don't know. So. I would say he's probably a three-star. Okay. Obviously, three-star, five-star, all that is objective of course it's not actually and three stars anything. are so good yeah really good football yeah players, he's so. a really and he is a really good football player right but what happens if colorado oh shit we went to fucking number 10 last year right. or this upcoming year we right. went to number 10 we almost broke top 10 or like we were number 11 like we were in the top 25 the right. whole season and now a four-star recruit or a five-star recruit is like you know what fuck it they have five-star recruit fucking wide receivers why the fuck would i not want my five-star quarterback arm to go to a five-star wide receiver. Right. Yeah. And what happens then? Like, is Lewis still going to get the job because he's the son? So that's something that we're going to have to see two years or three years down the road. That's right. not something we're going to see next year. It's true. It's going to be uh, a year definitely where we – they're just going to try everything. Right. Yeah. Just try – work hard mm-hmm. as fuck, try everything. Um, look, if they go to a bowl game, if they go six and six. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 
Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. We're going to a bowl game. Yeah, We're literally if they games. can go to the Las Vegas Bowl or any, the anything. most, Fucking the most anything. insignificant, Nicole, yeah. the Barstool Bowl anything. or yeah. something. L- bowl. L.A. Jimmy bowl. Kimmel Bowl. Yeah, yeah, anything that's like the most inconsi- Just a bowl game. It doesn't have to be the Orange Bowl. It doesn't have to be the Rose right. Bowl. It doesn't have to be the Idaho Potato. It doesn't have to be the anything. Fiesta. It anything. can be the lowest of the lows, and it will still be like, Fuck yeah, that was a success. Right. That was a good hire. That'd be sick if they went to the Potato Bowl, though. Yeah, You'd that would be sick. It. I would fucking absolutely call off that whole entire week and go to that game. 100%. Same. Um, how was the, the random? How was the the game? Yeah, so I, I went. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. He was gambled. Gambled. Uh, oh, okay. Working and then gambled. But yeah. Oh, um, yeah. They lost, actually, unfortunately. Yeah, they did. Oy. Yeah. They're, but was it a good um, game, though, besides the loss? I mean, was it fun? It was probably the worst yeah. game they played all year. Really? Uh, nah. Besides the <laughs> fucking besides El Paso game, besides the El Paso game, yeah. Um, Who they play again? Fresno State, good oh, football okay. team. Yeah, definitely a good football team. Like yeah. they deserved it. They they mm-hmm. played really good. The uh, frustrating part was the s- the uh, s- s- like the scene. Like it was awesome. It was uh, nationally televised, which they don't get very often. So they had fucking Fox there. No way. So they had a fucking camera behind the quarterback. That's huge. It was insane. I, I wish you were there to see it because yeah. they literally had a camera with wires suspended from the top of the, the both sides of the yeah. fucking stands wow. and the camera was behind his head so you were like looking as the quarterback like the camera. It was insane. Wow. So I'll have to show you. Yeah. But so that it was cool because it was nationally televised so there was actually like oh Yeah, it's big. big. That's a big bi- deal. It was big time. It was big time. So it was cool. Bachmeyer wasn't there. <laughs> hey, that's right. Fuck him. <laughs> Yeah, um, fuck him. We have a way better – now we have a freshman quarterback going to be a sophomore. And That's he's already better. had a whole year to practice as a – so the future yeah. is bright for Boise State, which is awesome. Yeah, that is um, good. He played his worst game of his career, unfortunately. Yeah. He threw, like, two interceptions, and he had, like, uh, 60 yards passing and out of, like, 20 attempts. It was terrible. Yeah. So um, we just – the frustrating part is we just beat ourselves up. We had a punt return for a touchdown that we gave up, two interceptions that we – Gave them good field position. We had over twice as much yards, and we lost by twice as much points. So wow, it was rough. So you don't really lose very much with a stat line like that, right? You yeah. do as twice as much work on the yardage, but lose by twice as much doesn't make any sense. But yeah, um, it, but that's mistakes. So yeah, so it's unfortunate. Um, the last two games I've gone to on the blue field, they've lost. Um, yeah, and that's sad. Out of 140 games. They've only lost mm-hmm. 12 games on the blue, and I've been to the last two of them. So, yeah, that's well, cool. wow. So, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah, what are the chances? <laughs> I know. Yeah, they have God. a fucking 99.7% win percentage on the blue field, and I've been to the last two games that they've lost. So, uh, yeah. Um, there you go. It's a, it's a, they're Start listening to the radio like I do. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. That but was such the a great future. Yes, yeah, seriously. Which, uh, that year, of course. Uh, but the future is bright for Boise State, which is awesome. The game was mm-hmm. fun as fuck. Uh, when, when, um, what's. Farewell ever on the podcast? No, I don't think he's ever on here. I was going to say we need to get him but a guest on here. Roommate, we've talked about him many times. But yeah, we'll he, get him. We, he went with uh, Marin and I. So nice. It was a good time. Got to see the blue, He got to see the blue field for the first time, so that was cool. Oh, you've never been there? Nope. Huh? So, wow. But, yeah, it was cool. It, w- it was a good time. Um, that was also conference championship week that we talked about coming yep. up on the last episode. Yep. So Crazy now shit. it's fucking Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and Ohio State. Right. Well, right in that order. The only one that I got right was TCU. I do remember saying TCU is just going to stay where they are no matter if they win or lose. Mm-hmm. So. And then, yep, USC lost, and they they lost their spot. Uh, which I think, honestly. I'm very proud that they didn't let Alabama go into they the They did play. the right. They, the, these are the four that should be in. Yeah. They did a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going. I'm going to ask you this question. I'm going to answer this question. Then I'm going to ask Dilly this question. Okay. All right. Who wins each semifinal? Then who wins the Natty? So who wins Georgia, Ohio right. State? Right. I know, but I'm going to show you Georgia. the logos just oh, so you okay. can choose which one. Georgia. Say, uh, okay. It's all. First, want to say that fucking weekend win is worse possible for Georgia for winning. Yeah. Because they should have. USC, way easier team to play than Ohio oh, State. Oh, yeah. Or they could have played. TCU somehow, right? Mm-hmm. Way easier team than Ohio State. Yeah. Or a- Alabama, who is ar- still a really good team, but arguably worse yeah. than Ohio State. So yeah. they got the worst, they got the hardest team essentially to play uh-huh. besides Michigan. Um, okay, so Georgia wins. Michigan, TCU. TCU has a dog in them. They're going. Wow. TCU's going. Wow. So what am I looking at? Let okay, me see. I'll show you. I'm pumped. So Georgia's winning the Natty. 
Okay, so Georgia goes back to back yep. and beats TCU in the national championship. Yep. Okay. So he picked. So these are the. Don't worry about the two teams on the bottom. Don't worry about. Oh, these okay. Two. It's these. These four, right? Dude, TCU Michigan. has a okay. dog. So this is one. This is four, right? So one and four. So one and four play, and then two and three play. Okay. Okay, against so each other. Yeah. To and then face the national team. So which two. both ones? So do these it? two are playing. Which out of these two do you pick to win? Is it? Uh, fucking is Georgia, hundred percent. Okay. I'm okay. saying Georgia right? because Georgia? you hear it. You, you know Georgia. You know they're good. Georgia. <laughs> okay. I just I don't know much about stories. Go sports. Go. I hear about Georgia a lot. They won the national championship last is that why? year. They've okay. been number one all of this year. Because yeah. it's funny because I just go with what I hear about. Well, there you a go. Lot. It's a good thing. I've never heard of Michigan. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what, what TCU heck? is. I've heard of that a lot. You've heard of TCU? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Which one are you picking? <laughs> Males probably. I've heard about TCU, so I'm just gonna say TCU. Oh, oh. you guys do the same thing. <laughs> is that all right? Oh, who yeah, wins Georgia TCU national championship? Then it's gotta be Georgia. Georgia. Oh best. my, oh my god! Same you exact thing. Got me <laughs> that what he said? I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't you even play. I knew. Uh, I knew. Even if I asked him first, you still wouldn't fucking hear him or understand. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't even remember what he said. Swear to God, I just was like, okay. So, but Georgia, you know, Georgia, you know, dude, right? TCU. I'm has going. A dog. Yeah. I really want them to win. I want whoever is on this side. I want Michigan or TCU to win. Yeah, yeah, but Georgia's too much. Of They're an too N- fucking good. Uh, Georgia's an NFL or Ohio team. State. Honestly, Should I want like, Ohio State to win. Anybody want to bet money? Okay, this is what I want. You want Ohio happen. State and Michigan to win, so that way it's a rematch. Fuck yeah, that'd be sick as fuck. <laughs> that would, that'd be insane. That would, that would be insane. <laughs> that would be the most like fucking storybook fucking insane. season or, ever. Or or Georgia and TCU go, and then TCU wins. That would be fucking crazy. Um, yeah. What I think is gonna happen. Here's what I think is going to happen, and I'm going to – I was going to say this before, but I'm going to make sure I say it this time because you guys did the same thing. Georgia wins against Iowa State. Michigan wins against TCU. I would love to for T- TCU to win, of course. I've I've kind of been you know underdog team. It's cool to see them in this spot. See them yeah. win would be cool. Michigan's a hell of a football team. They're just – they're they they were made it to the playoff last year, They're but they're even different this year. So they're definitely the second-best team. I think they beat G- Georgia. Honestly, I think they pull what they did against Ohio State at, against Georgia in the national championship. So, Michigan. Where are they playing the Natty? I don't know. Oh, L.A. Yeah. They're uh, playing at yeah. uh, SoFi? Yeah. Mm. So. Okay. So no one's really getting any home advantages for that. No, nobody. Um, yeah, for anybody. Yeah, that's completely out of the way for Which everybody. Yeah, that is good. So it'll be, it'll be lit. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> so Dilly picks Georgia, Georgia, which it's a good. It's the I don't know anything so about him. I just I'm gonna him. shoot back to Colorado really quick, just and then we're gonna end it because that's what I really just only the only really thing yep. I wanted to talk about. So talked about like fucking contenders, natty contenders for fucking Colorado. High tides raise all ships. Right. If we start getting high fucking good ass recruits, too. I was gonna fucking say this too. Good ass recruits. Utah's getting good ass recruits because they keep on showing oh, up. I was gonna say something. Oregon like keeps on getting yeah, good ass recruits because they're starting to show up again. Lincoln Riley's at USC, so he's pulling good ass recruits. It's true. With all of this happening in Pac twelve, could be nuts. Is Pac twelve gonna overtake and not be the bottom of the top five conference? Well, I don't think they have. Um, Who's the worst of the top five? Uh, Big twelve. Uh, oh, it's gotta be. I think Big twelve, or ACC, ACC. but they have else? Clemson. Yeah, but you gotta have a ton of teams. Yeah, and Pac-12 does. Pac-12's got Oregon, Washington. I just feel like Pac-12 Utah. is always forgotten so much, b- especially because it's on the West Coast. Yeah, but look at the teams they got: Man, USC, Oregon, Utah. Utah's the best team. Um, or even Oregon State's nice. They're fifteenth in the yeah. country. Washington, UCLA, and know. Cal sometimes pull up. UCLA and Cal, they're leaving in a year, but yeah, uh, which, which is, is nice. like that's like. That's what I'm saying. So, like, with Deion Sanders coming to Colorado, are those teams going to fucking start regretting really hard and be like, fuck, maybe the Pac-12 was the place to be? I don't know, because the Big Ten is fucking nuts. So the Big Ten is fucking nuts. But now they're the only West Coast teams yeah. in a Midwest conference. Right. So now they're, like, fucking the <laughs> fucking still weird, still the red-headed stepchild yeah. of a conference. Uh, it doesn't fucking make any yeah, sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. They shouldn't be there. No. They, sh- they fitted in the Pac-12. So... Yeah, is this gonna start like? Is this gonna start being like a new era? Like if Dion starts doing this, fucking Lincoln Riley's in the you fucking. Know what I want to happen? 
Mm-hmm. Boise State goes to the Pac-12. Yes, I want that too. It needs to happen. Pac-12 is my favorite conference. If yeah. a Boise State can go into the Pac-12, I would fucking be. Well, they, it makes sense, it, right? Location wise, right? How many seats does Boise State have? Almost forty. Okay, then they would make it. I think the minimum seating for a Pac-12 team has to be thirty-five thousand. So yeah, it's easily it's thirty-seven at, at least. 37 or 38 at least. Yeah. I know that was like one of the biggest problems with certain teams that wanted to get into the Pac-12. Right. And like it's it would have made yeah. sense. Like Colorado That's State wanted issue. to get in and Colorado State doesn't have a big enough stadium. Right. Th- that wasn't the issue. I think the issue was the program's not in a good enough spot to go to that next level. I think is why they've yeah, been I think waiting. Um, yeah. They should. Um, I think they should just dive in deep just like Colorado did. Right. When Colorado hopped over to the Pac-12, everyone was like, That's going to be some tough times. It but was, hey. but hey, look at now. Yeah, they could. Pac-12 is in a great spot. What I was going to say with the all ships rising, mm-hmm. this is going to do amazing things for CU basketball. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't you want to go play basketball at CU when you can go walk and watch? Yeah, CU which football, especially yeah. arguably you know? like Chauncey Billups has always been rooting Legend. for it. Yep. Especially now that Chauncey. he's over with the fucking Trailblazers and all that, he still roots for fucking and supports all things Colorado and all that. Tad Boyles is, is an extremely respected head coach in the Chauncey Billups is a I've heard of Chauncey Billups. Never he's a Todd Colorado either. basketball. He was there for CU uh, legend. Yeah, he oh. Denver played for Nuggets legend. Yeah, he played for a year and then went to the uh pros. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. Um wow. but he's a member at that Colorado Go Club. Yeah, he is. I met him. Oh, that's Yeah, why so Chauncey Billups, Tad that. Boyles is the fucking he head coach. Give me a hug and I'm like I'm never watching this gym. <laughs> like there you go. It. He's a fucking legend. He is a great guy. Wow. Yeah. yeah, Tad Boyles is the fucking head coach for Colorado basketball right now. He's been the head coach for like I think almost ten years now. He's been there forever. Yeah, and he it's has fun. been there for a long time. Yeah, right? and it's awesome. And like we've gotten March Madness invites and shit like that. Under been a him. few times. Yeah, we've been there, and with not the greatest of fucking recruits, like right. the l- biggest name that's come out of Colorado basketball in the last ten years is Derek White. Uh, that and um, oh yeah, the yeah, Oklahoma yeah. City power Fuck forward. Him. Fuck. Oh, what was his name? Steven. No. No, 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 no. That's their center. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I remember watching him and I fucked with him so hard, and then he went to Oklahoma City and almost won a Western Conference championship with him. Fuck. I can't Fuck, remember. He started for the Oklahoma City too for a long time. Like um. So years. anyway, like two people over yep. the course of ten years. That's it. Is not yep. that great. So no. he like, imagine what he could do. With good recruitment, that would be great. So, like, we could get to the Sweet Sixteen with him as a coach and good recruitment. We could get to Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. So, yes. The point is, CU as a school is going to be elevated because of this. Yeah, and coach. that's what they talked about. Is like is literally insane? the merchandise sales, more people come, so that means yeah. more tuition. That means more money goes into the program, which means better facilities, which means kids want to go there more because it's a right. better facility, which means there's more everything. So that more means there's better recruits, which means better games, which means better, better wins, teams, more wins, yeah. which means yeah. more things. And then it's like just a fucking snowball effect. Yeah. And it all starts with the head coach. And there he is. Damn. So that's where we're at for CU. Yep. Um. What will happen? Nobody knows. Yep. But the future is, is bright. only bright. <laughs> yep. It, after being one and eleven, now two people are saying, "Fuck." No, if we good. literally went six and six, it would be a fucking slam. And dunk. I guarantee, it it's more than that. Yeah. I if would we say go six eight. and six. Yeah. If we go s- if we go six and six our first season with Dion as a head coach. It's a slam dunk higher. If it's yeah. yeah, if it's six or six or better this f- next season, it's gonna be nine plus better the following season. Yep, which is crazy because then it could be ten, eleven, twelve. So long as he just doesn't that. do a Mel Tucker where he right. signs a Fuck five. Mel Tucker, bro. Dude, Mel Tucker fucking signs five year fucking contract. I'm gonna fucking be this man. I'm gonna fucking build up Colorado. The worst is he told the recruits that he was gonna be their coach and then he left. Yeah, exactly. He was what are you there. Doing? I don't even know what that is. Stop making fucking noise, oh, dude. Just fucking chill out, bro. Yeah, fucking tell yeah. Me. Mel Tucker shows up. He's like, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> he did." Fucking Coach Max sucks dick. Anyway, I'm gonna be here. I was uh, the fucking defensive coordinator for fucking Georgia. Right. I'm fucking amazing. Nick Saban knows I'm amazing, and he's scared of me because he knows how good I could coach fucking defensive, fucking college players and this and that. I'm gonna be your head coach for the next five years, and I'm gonna be fucking amazing at it. And we're right. gonna go win fucking bowl games. Right. When goes through one season with a eh, okay season, gets an offer from Michigan State, instantly leaves. Wow. Literally, yeah. we were expecting him terrible. to be there for five yeah. years. He was there for one up. season. It was fucked up. Yeah. And now he's fucking 
having players punch kids in the locker room. So yep, hey, it's nice. It all comes around, comes around. You know me. Yep. Yeah, Mel Tucker sucks. Yep. <laughs> so moral of the story. There we are. But um, yeah, crazy. So we'll see what happens. We'll update uh, as the off season goes on. Um, I know Dilly hates sports. Wrapping it up so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Dilly, you can't do that. You Look at the fucking well, videos. They I'm do like, so good. I'm not good. doing this because I never know when the, the end is, the end they is do never so, near. Yeah, the sports videos do so goddamn good. So and good. you also can't say we're dragging this out when you talked about flying for Dude, an hour. But, okay, you want to know? Sports, heat me up because one day they're like this. 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 Because it's just me. I'm not hating on Look at this one. But... It's just because I never truly know. To me, it's just gambling, right. which I like gambling. <laughs> I like gambling. It's the right. suspense but of the story. It is. It's suspense because you don't know what's going to happen. And it's well, way better than anxiety. NFL because, like, in the yeah, NFL, I you're will like, say yes. You're like, yes. the NFL. He knows that. Guess what? Yes. Denver Broncos will be losing this week. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Last thing. Yeah. I made him watch the Army Navy game on Saturday. Oh, that was a very good game. Yeah. So he got to witness that. That was game. America. Yeah. So That's the best that. game of the year. That was year. awesome. Ar- arguably, for sure. So it was, it was legendary, for sure. So yeah, that was cool. um, And that's just college football. I will it's say. good because of that. You know what I mean? I actually understand football more now that I've watched it with Tanner. Yeah. Now I actually enjoy get, it watching he start, it Now he knows that there's a difference between pass and run. Yes. Fuck even yeah. even though I thought stupid, there was only three passes in that game mm-hmm. between Army and yeah. Navy. Yeah. And the Navy's first one was in overtime. And also, we got to talk about this, Dilly, because it doesn't look like the Avs are making the playoffs. So No, they'll, they'll, they'll be fine. Dude. Injuries. Gabe's been out. Nate's out. 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 They'll be fine. They just got to get through. We barely injuries. beat St. Louis today. I know, and they lost like five in a row before that. But we are a fine. mid team. But somehow Arizona beats Boston. There we go. No one knows that. Nobody one. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody no knows. one knows how fucking Arizona beat Boston. Anyway, we're well, can end it at that. <laughs> Have a great fucking week. That's yep. Yep. fucking see you at the next episode. We fucking love you, Sherry. We'll everybody. see you next week. Hey, It'll be fucking three days or two days for us, but we'll see you next week, next Monday. Send it to your friends. Thanks for all the follows. We'll see you next week. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs> Come on, you dude. You dance. Oh, Sweet. Dance, bro. You gotta dance, bro.